Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have yet another comparison. This time it's between the Razer Death Adder Elite Chroma and the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, also enabled by Chroma. Now, these two are very popular mice around the gaming community, the PC gaming community, and I wanted to see how different they are from one another, because just by looking at them, they look very similar. The only real difference you can tell just by looking at it is the lighting. The Mamba just has more lighting, but let's see how different they are in terms of specifications and performance. We're gonna start off with the looks. If you just glanced at the Mamba, you would say it's identical to the Death Adder minus the lighting. Well yeah, just that there's some minor differences. First of all, the grips on the Mamba are slightly larger, giving you more of an area to grip the mouse with. The Mamba has the lighting strips on the sides, which are the most noticeable part. Both are chroma enabled, by the way, but the Death Adder does not have the wave lighting mode that everyone loves. Just a quick tip, you can tell which mouse is which because the Mamba has the lighting strips on the side and the Death Adder doesn't. Just a quick heads up. The buttons on the Mamba are slightly different. I certainly haven't noticed any differences while using it. It's a very minor difference. Another difference you may notice with the Mamba is that the Mamba has the tilt function on the scroll wheel. You can actually tilt left and right, whereas with the Death Adder Elite, you can't do that. That tilt function allows you to have two extra buttons on the mouse, which can be remapped to do something else either in-game or while browsing the web and stuff for everyday use. That's extremely useful if you have web pages open in smaller windows and have to scroll to the side. You don't really notice how useful it is until you don't have it. On the scroll wheel, the grips are the same, by the way. Other than that, I couldn't really find any major differences between the looks. Even the shape and form of the two are very similar. I couldn't find the exact dimensions. But just know that if you find one comfortable, you're probably going to find the other one comfortable as well, because they're very similar. They both have that right-handed ergonomic design. In terms of specifications, the Mamba has a 16,000 DPI 5G laser sensor, where the Death Adder has a 16,000 DPI optical sensor. This is where the biggest difference comes in. Laser sensors versus optical sensors. From the short time that I've used them, I can't really tell a difference while gaming. What I can say, and it may be a deal breaker for some, I've even seen people experience those issues in live streams. The Death Adder's optical sensor seems to be way better, according to the community. Other than that, both have the Chroma 16.8 million color options. Again, the Death Adder does not have the wave lighting mode. Both have braided cables, both have DPI buttons at the top, and both have Razer's mechanical switches, which are very clicky, but not too loud. Uh, for those of you wondering what it sounds like, here's a quick sound test. Sound test for the Death Adder Elite. Sound test for the Mamba Tournament Edition. So that's it for that stuff, now for some actual tests. So right now you guys are looking at two screens. One is a YouTube video playing, it's just a black screen for like 10 hours, and the other one is my mouse right here. This is a Razer Mamba. One of the tests is about sensor sensitivity, and with this mouse, if I, if I just tap the desk sometimes, or if I just move something on the desk, the mouse will register a movement, and you can see Whenever there's movement, the bottom bar on the YouTube video pops up, and the title and everything. So we're just gonna see, I'm gonna tap the table once, not kind of hard, and we're gonna see if the mouse registers any movement. Alright, so that tap wasn't even that hard, and it did register some movement. We're gonna do this three more times. Alright, so the final tab was very light and it didn't register anything, but the other two, they weren't even that hard and it still registered some movement. So that might be annoying if you're trying to watch a YouTube video full screen and your hands are even just on your desk. You might be annoyed at this thing where there's slight movement with the cursor. Alright, so now time for the Razer Death Adder. Once again, uh, the tapping test. I'm gonna tap the desk and we're gonna see if the mouse registers any sort of movement. Alright, so for this one I had to tap it a lot harder than with the Razer Mamba. Let's try it again with the same amount of force. So from that test, the Razer Death Adder is a lot better than the Razer Mamba uh, with the tapping test. So, so now we're going to move on to the lifting slash movement test. Alright, so now on this test, 
we're on the main screen of Windows 8 and we have the mouse once again, this is a Razer Mamba. And this test also has to do with movement of the cursor. But this one is mainly, if you lift it, how much does the cursor move? As you can see, I'm not moving it up, down, left, or right, I'm just lifting it, that's it. Putting it back down and lifting it. So we're just gonna see how much the cursor actually moves. Here we go, number one. I'm gonna do it three times with a Mamba and three times with a Death Adder and just see how much they move. By the way, the DPI is at 1800. There's test one right now. It moved quite a bit and then putting, back, putting it back down, it moved a lot. Again, it moved and again. So the third time it didn't move that much, but the first time you guys saw that it moved a lot. All right, so here we have the death adder. We're gonna see once again, I'm gonna lift it and we're gonna see how much the cursor moves. Again, the DPI is set at 1800. Test one, two, three. All right, so once again, the death adder, I believe from what I could tell, the death adder moved a little bit less I remember that on the first try with the Mamba, it moved a lot, and this one was more or less the same on all three tries. I would say the average of movement and stuff like that, if this was all like mathematical or whatever, uh, the Death Adder did move a little bit less than the Mamba. Alright, so now for the third test, once again the DPI is at 1800, and we're gonna test out the accuracy. So this is just a website, mouseaccuracy.com, and basically it's just gonna give me some circles and I have to click on them. Simple as that. Again, the DPI is set at 1800. This is a Razer Mamba. Let's get to it. It'll calculate my hits and misses. All right, time's up. So I clicked 17 targets and I misclicked one. So that's not bad. For the Razer Mamba, it's not bad at all. I'm assuming the death adder is going to be sort of the same. And now it's a death adder's turn for this accuracy test. Once again, the DPI is set at 1800. Um, and yeah, we're going, to, we're going to click on the little circles. Alrighty. So remember that with the Razer Mamba, we got 17 targets clicked and one missed. We did end up clicking one more with the Mamba, but with the Death Adder's optical sensor, we got 17 clicks and zero misses. So, I mean, we got a tie in terms of how many we got clicked, but I did click one more with the Mamba's uh, laser sensor. But again, we missed that one. So again, you can't really tell the difference, especially during gaming, at least for me, from what I've used, from the time that I've used them, I can't really tell the difference. Uh, but you guys might be able to tell more of a difference. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments below if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, what products you may want me to review and compare. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.